Hi, my name is Hector. Today, we're going to talk about clipping mask. It's a technique that everybody uses, and I mean, that's the way you can get something that looks like this to look like that. So if you need to procreate, this, this is for you. You're really going to love this. I'm telling you, you are, because you can apply this to everything. Uh, people, places, things. I'm telling you, everything. And if you want to follow along, the link to the flower is in the show notes. Also up to the left, yeah, right over there, see that? That's where we're gonna have the info for each segment. So information like uh, brush name, brush size, opacity, that kind of a thing, it's gonna be right there. Okay, I think I got everything, uh, so let's get started. Clipping Mask 101, let's go. So let's start from the very beginning. What's the clipping mask? Well, let me just show you. Let's make one. Tap on the two squares one time. That opens up the layers palette. And this is really important. Tap on the layer that you want to work on. It's going to be this one. Now we hit the plus sign. It's going to go right on top of layer one. There we go. Tap anywhere in the blue and a flyout menu is going to pop out. And we're going to choose clipping mask. But before I do that, look at this square right here. That's the thumbnail. It's going to scoot to the right, right about now. There it is. Now, really what this is telling us is that, one, that's what a clipping mask looked like. And the other that um, this layer, layer three, is linked to layer one. Because that's what it's pointing at. So anything you paint up here is going to be painted on there. Here, let me show you. Okay, let's tap on layer three. Let's activate it. There we go. And to choose a color, I'd like to just tap and hold and just get a good sample right there. Tap the color one time and I'm just going to choose a darker version of it. And that looks good right there. Up in brushes, tap that one time. And under your Procreate brushes, go to airbrushing. And I like to use soft brush. Size of the brushes. 14% and opacity is at 50 and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. looks like we have our sun out and that's good because when you're first starting off, you do want to have visual aids. So our shadows should be about right here. But what I wanted to show you is look at the size of my brush. It's kind of huge, but I'm only using half of it because what I'm doing is, is I'm feathering in the paint. I want to have control of it. And because it is pressure sensitive, I can go ahead and just, just give it a little bit of pressure every now and then. Okay, something like that. Now the edges, perfect. Even though it was an oversized brush like that, we don't see the paint. And that what a clipping mask is. All right, because this is what it really looks like. There we go. We concentrated more on what was going on in the shape than what was not going on in the shape. And this is like super hard to do if you can't use a clipping mask. Let's put it back on. There we go. That's looking good. All right, now let's start the new lesson. Clipping mask, the basics. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and tap on the two squares. And we're going to work on our petals first. So tap there, hit the plus sign. And we know that the new layer is going to be right on top of petals. Choose anywhere in the blue, tap one time, and choose clipping mask. All right, we have the indicator that it's a clipping mask. And it's linked to this one over here. Let's choose a color. I'm going to go ahead and just tap and hold and get this red, tap color, and choose a darker version of it, like that. Go up to brushes, tap there one time. Let's go to airbrushing, soft brush is good. Size, well, let's go 12%. Opacity at 50, there we go. We have our light source, it's coming down. So we know that the shadowing is gonna be down here. Strokes are gonna be light with just a little bit of pressure. 
and because we have our visual aid we have a pretty good idea where the shadows are going to be okay looks like that is it right there now let's go ahead and tap on the color and choose a lighter version of that red and in fact let's turn it more into like an orangey color like that brush everything remains the same soft brush 12 percent 50 percent opacity our light source well now we're just going to go ahead and just start painting away if we have to we just do just a little bit of pressure just to just emphasize the highlight there we go awesome and of course we're using a brush that's about this big and there's no overspray because Clippy Math took care of that for us let's work on the greens now let's tap on layers tap on greens tap on the plus sign tap the blue highlighted layer choose clipping mask get a sample of color tap color choose a darker version of that color tap brushes we're going to stay with a soft brush brush size is going to be 12 and opacity is going to be 50. As we look at our light source, it's only natural that the shadowing be right here. And maybe there, a little bit there. I'm just going to do just a little bit of lines like this. That's just going to add a little bit of texturing in a way. Back to color. Choose a lighter version of that color. Brush is still going to be soft brush. Size, going to go down to 9%. We're still going to be at 50% opacity. And now I'm going to start like somewhere about in the middle, right there. Uh, and just start painting it in. Light strokes on certain parts and other parts. Just give a little bit of pressure. There we go. Do my lines going a little bit. Just adding just a little bit of lines right there. Now we're going to do something that we haven't done. We're going to our layers palette, tap it one time, and we're going to add another clipping mask layer. Yeah, you can have multiple clipping mask layers linked to one base layer. So let's go ahead and tap on the plus sign, tap anywhere in the blue, clipping mask. Now I'm going to use a different brush. Tap my brush, go to inking, syrup is good, 33% and 100% opacity. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the lines on the leaf, like that. And on this side too, there we go. All right. Now there's two things we can do. If we're happy with this, we can leave it alone. If not, we can hit on the layers icon and layer seven, we can get it and we can move it underneath the shading. And that probably looks a little better, right? So now let's go ahead and work on the petals. Let's go to the layers icon. Same idea. Instead of creating a new layer up here and then make it into clipping mask, we're going to actually highlight the petals, but notice what happens to the new layer once we add it in. Here we go. Boom. A new layer pops up, it's right above petals, but automatically it becomes a clipping mask because it's in between a clipping mask layer. So that's kind of a cool thing. Now let's go ahead and get a brush. Let's go to charcoals and Carbon sick is good. 27% is good as far as size 
and 100% opacity is good. Now let's go ahead and choose a color. Now we can go ahead and get a sampling of the lighter color. So let's do that. Tap that one time and get a lighter version of that. Or let's go more like into the yellows, somewhere around there. Using this brush, we want to just turn on the pressure every now and then. And that's going to give us a nice variation of the brush stroke. And it looks like we're just about done. So next is clipping masks, the details. Hey, if you haven't already done so, and you like this episode, hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your support. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to layers. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to add a little detail. So here's my thought process. I can make a new layer here. And then I could have my shadows and highlights and texture above it. That could make it a little muddy. So don't want to do that. Or I can have it on top up here. And now I'll have control of the shadowing and the texturing. Here, let me show you. Let's make this into a clipping mask. That. I have a fun brush that I like to use a lot. Um, if you went to the website, download it, it's Willow Dot, and all it is, is just dots. All right, so that's perfect. And I'm going to do something like this, something like this, I like that. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to layers, right here, tap it once, and that's where you find your opacity. Now we can play with the opacity and we can go like this and that would work okay. But it's pretty uniform, right? It's all looks kind of the same. So that's not the best option. How about if we do something like overlay? And if we do overlay, you see how it was, you see how it lets the textures and the shadowing in and it has a little bit of an effect. Kind of makes it look like it's a foil, you know? <laughs> Looks really cool. Now if you play with the opacity, it has a better effect. Somewhere around there. And did you know you can use things like the eraser on it? So we can go here and choose an eraser. Let's go to airbrushing, soft brush. That's good. 9% is good. 27% is good. And we can just start just erasing almost nothing. Just Just giving it that sort of like a distressed look. Like that. Okay, that gives it that sort of a look. And, you know, there's no flower on earth that looks like this. But, ours does. <laughs> and lastly, let's play with the center part. Let's go there. So let's hit center, hit the plus sign, tap it one time and hit Clippy Mask. Get a sample and choose something darker like that. And this time let's go with color as well. So it's gonna be something of a brownish sort of color. Tapping the brush, airbrush is good. We're looking at 9% and 50%. Sunlight's coming this way, so this is where we're going to add our shadows. And we're just going to work it in, like that. Very light strokes. So we'll keep it like that. Okay. So what do we do? Well, we, 
we went to a base layer and we added one, two, three, three layers to it, there were clipping masks. And of those, we were able to play with the opacity a little bit, as well as the blend mode, to give it that look. It's kind of endless of what you can do. And in fact, if you want to see the next one, it's going to be a little bit more intense. Once again, blowing this up, you can see that everything stayed within the lines. And that's kind of what we want to do, right? Just kind of just worry about the paint that we can see. What we can't see, well, that's a different show. <laughs> oh, and uh, there's more stuff coming. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. Anyway, gotta go.